Well, this is a little bit embarrassing. I've been here, oh, I don't know, almost an hour now, and this is my very first tea party. I've probably had, I don't know, 50 tea parties, 60 tea parties since I started doing this. It's my very first time that no one showed up. Welcome, my friend, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. Today I'm at Jamie's Van Bill Party 2019, and this is out near Parker, Arizona, south of Havasu and north of Quartzsite. And we're here building all sorts of projects. Um, I'm just serving tea and helping out where I can. Today, this morning, I'm serving tea and doing my book exchange here inside of the step van. So I just need to get my tea all set up and ready so that I can have my guests arrive. Usually what I do as I set up, I move everything off of this table and put my tea supplies here so that people can come inside and then sit on the right and left of the tea table and then I'm back in the kitchen area. And this is pretty much how I've set up. I have honey over here and a spoon and then I have some teacups, a teapot. And what I do is I serve um, some tea in the teapot, whatever I choose for the day. And if people don't want that, let's say it's a black tea and they want herbal, then I have this box here where I've taken a lot of different kinds of tea and they can choose and select their own kind of herbal tea for non-caffeinated or a different kind if they prefer green tea or something else. So this allows me a lot of uh, flexibility in the kind of tea that I serve. I also now have a Berkey filter. It filters out the water and gives me some really pure, great tasting water. One of the last things I do is I put on some ambient music in the background and I actually made a playlist which I call the tea playlist and it's just some sort of soothing music that I can play in the background here. And uh, then sometimes I light a candle depending on, I don't know, where I'm at and that way I sort of have the aroma from one of the scented candles going through the step van. So anyway, just trying to combine a bunch of different senses to make for a pleasant experience for guests here at the step van for having tea and the book exchange. Over here I have all my books that are in the book exchange and I just slowly rotate these out. I gain some books each time and give away some books. And I put my sign out front, which is uh, inviting people to the book exchange and tea house. Here it says, free tea, free book exchange, and an arrow for them to go inside. Well, this is a little bit embarrassing. I've been here, oh, I don't know, almost an hour now. And this is my very first tea party. I've probably had, I don't know, 50 tea parties, 60 tea parties since I started doing this. It's my very first time that no one showed up. So, uh, not sure what to think about this. I guess statistically it's bound to happen. I've uh, been thinking about that over the last hour and maybe it's just my location. I'm all the way down in the quiet zone and quite a ways from the central camp. So perhaps it's the location, perhaps it's also that I'm doing it at nine o'clock in the morning and this is a van build. So there's all sorts of building projects and stuff going on during the day. So maybe in the future, I should reschedule for times when people are not doing the building projects and a location that's more central and easier to get to. I imagine that those two things are probably the primary reason. But anyway, uh, first time for me to have one of these events and no one to show up. So it's a little bit odd. Um, I have some other things planned for today. I'm going to be working on another project, which is to make some boxes, some wood boxes and bins to go in my shelving units in the back of the step van. So I'm trying to collect scrap wood from the carpentry area and to make some boxes. So that's going to be my project for today and I'm nearing the completion of the step van. I want to get those boxes in there and then put some doors on my closet space back there and I think pretty much I'm going to be done with the main build of the living space. So exciting to have that uh, be wrapping up over this period here at the van build and during December. And I'm hoping by the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, which takes place in January, a month from now, that I'll be wrapping up the build with the last few final touches. So if you're attending the RTR event down in Quartzsite, Arizona, hope you'll drop past and visit the step van. I'll try to be a little bit more central during that. 
and also pick a time that's not conflicting with other events, at least try to do so. So anyway, I'm going to head out and uh, go work on the carpentry project and work on some boxes. Behind me over here is one of the carpentry areas. In this area, the team leader is Reed, who is one of my friends. And he has been collecting scraps from projects over the last, I don't know, like five or six days or something like that. So today I'm meeting with him and uh, hopefully getting some materials to make some boxes and bins. I've asked my friend Reed to help me out because he has a table saw here. It's way, way easier to cut the straight cuts with the table saw. So he's gonna help me out and cut the straight cuts and then I'll take the scraps back to my place and glue them together and use the brad nail gun and make the actual boxes. So yeah, he's doing part of the work for me and then I'll finish it up. This is Reed over here. He's helping me out today. He's going to be doing some straight cuts, I guess, table yep. saw, so that we can make some boxes. And you've made a little list. So based on my little drawings here, he's going to uh, try to transfer those drawings into actual pieces and parts. So I guess let's get to it. Let's get to it. So, so here's what we're building is these little boxes that I made and they're gonna go in on the shelves. So the box, real simple, it's uh, basically just the bottom, and the bottom is seven and a half inches. He wants it eight inches wide, so I have the half inch sides. So the three quarter will give us his strength, side to side, and then the sides just come up like this, and we'll put it all together. And I gave him enough for two boxes so far, just two. So I'm starting out with two boxes. I think we have a total of like 20 or something boxes that I'm going to make over the next several weeks or months. I don't know how many I'll be able to make out of scraps here at the van build party, but I'll just continue as I find scraps to make boxes. I have my awning set up and my Brad nail gun air compressor. I have the hose going into the back of the step van and my pancake compressor is just inside and it's really convenient because I just sort of slide it out from underneath the shelf over here and plug it in. Very, very convenient to get at and then run my hose out the back end. Pretty awesome setup, I think, personally. I like it. So anyway, I'm gonna put together these boxes so that I can get a little bit more organized and finish up the step van here. From what I understand and what I've been told, at least my training, is that when you're using a Brad nail gun, and working with wood the real trick is using wood glue the wood glue is the real adhesive that's holding everything together and the brad nails you're supposed to treat just as sort of fasteners to help the glue dry and stay in place so they're not really used for strength per se so you really want to make sure that your wood glue goes into the wood grain so when I apply it, I usually apply it onto the side, the cut side of the wood where you see all the individual plies and sort of rub it in with my finger and then wait for it to get a slightly tacky before putting the two pieces together. And then you use the brad nail gun to hold everything together until it dries. So that's my technique. If you have any comments, thoughts, or want to refine what I said, please write a comment below. So this is the edge that I want to put the glue on to. So I make sure I put it on pretty heavy and then rub it in and then wait for it to get tacky. And then I'll take this piece here and lay it on top of the glue and use the brad nail gun to hold it in place. So here I have my bead put down. And so I just go and I sort of rub it in along this edge to where it goes down into the grain as much as possible. And then once it's all set up, and I usually use my left hand, so that way I can use the brad nail gun with my right hand and sort of work around the glue. All right, just get these little beads here. And it's already starting to feel a little bit tacky, so I can already put the other piece on here and then nail it down.
And so here we have the finished box, the bin that I designed. And Reed helped me cut all the wood. I think it's looking pretty spectacular. Just got to get my shelves organized and put stuff in there. And now I have two finished boxes. I think these are looking pretty awesome. Exactly what I was going for. I took my two boxes and put them on the shelves and loaded them up with tea. I have so much tea it took both of those boxes to go in there. Let me show you what it looks like on my shelf for my tea collection. So over here you can see all the tea that I have. It takes up two complete boxes going all the way back here. There's probably about 40 or 50 different kinds of tea. Many of them are in these smaller boxes like this, but some are cans of tea in various sizes. So anyway, it's nice to have this all in a place that's easily accessible so that I can just pull them out and access them as I need to get at them for serving tea. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment, and I hope to see you in a future episode. <music>